Welcome to Byte Further. In today's video, you'll learn what to do when your iPhone 7 won't restart. So, your iPhone 7 becomes unresponsive or won't turn on. You might have pressed the power button and performed a restart on iPhone 7 first to handle the software glitches. If reboot works, the unknown errors will be resolved and the device goes back to life. If the iPhone 7 screen won't restart, it's hard not to panic. Maybe no power off slider shows up or the device won't respond to dragging the slider. Perhaps the iPhone 7 won't let you turn off or restart at all. If you don't know what to do when the iPhone 7 won't reboot, check this video guide to find a solution. We'll delve into what could cause this problem and provide you with the corresponding fixes. Don't forget to give this video a like or a super thanks if you think this video is good and helps. Now, let's start. Step 1. Force iPhone 7 to restart without touching the screen. When you can't restart iPhone 7, it can be due to the system going glitchy suddenly and software failing to perform the shutdown. To fix it, try doing a force restart to use hardware-based commands to turn off the device then back on. After the reboot, all kinds of temporary errors or glitches will be removed and your iPhone 7 will boot up with all data left untouched. Here's what you need to do. On your iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, press both the volume down and power keys together and keep holding them for a while. The screen will show the power off slider first, then the black screen. When you see the Apple logo, let go of both buttons and the iPhone 7 will reboot itself. Now, check if the issue is resolved. Step 2. Update iPhone 7 OS to fix the error. Restart not working on iPhone 7 might be due to iPhone 7's firmware bugs. If this is a common problem, the phone manufacturer may release a fix in the upcoming iOS update. If you can still access the settings app, just tap general and software update to upgrade iOS. If the phone is frozen, attempt to put iPhone 7 into recovery mode to update iOS. Prepare a Windows or Mac computer and feel free to try as it won't affect the stored data. Here's what you need to do. Install and launch the Apple Devices app, iTunes, or Finder on the computer. If you've already got the application, plug your iPhone 7 into the machine's USB port. To put the device into recovery mode, keep holding the volume down and power button together until the recovery mode shows up with a laptop and cable icon on a black screen. Feel free to try a few more times if you fail. Next, go to the computer and locate the pop-up window from the application. To do an iOS update when iPhone 7 restart doesn't work, click Update. Complete the left steps until the program starts downloading the firmware update. Be noted that the iPhone's recovery mode status only lasts 15 minutes. So, if it exits the mode even when the update doesn't end, just repeat the steps to enter again. Hope your iPhone 7 issues are ruled out and the restart works again. Step 3. Do a reset to start from scratch. In some cases, you can't reboot an iPhone 7 because the screen is completely stuck. If an update fails to save the phone, it often indicates that there is a serious bug hidden in the system or coming with the files you've saved. They are hard to pinpoint, so the quick solution is to perform a factory reset when iPhone 7 doesn't restart. If you have a computer nearby, the quick solution is to put the device into recovery mode to do a restore. The process is almost the same as doing an update, but the restore will remove everything on your iPhone 7 as well as the restart not working errors. If you're fine with that, here's what you need to do. Open the Apple Devices app, iTunes, or Finder on the computer. Plug your iPhone 7 into the machine's USB port. To enter recovery mode, keep holding the volume down and power button together until the recovery mode shows up. Next, go to the computer and locate the pop-up window from the application. To fix an iPhone 7 that won't restart, click Restore and complete the left steps. Finally, you'll need to set up the device from scratch after the restore. Step 4. Start a repair request for iPhone 7. If nothing works, consider getting service for your iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus. The experts in the official repair center have professional tools to check and examine if there are any broken or damaged hardware components stopping the iPhone 7 from restarting. To do that, schedule a visit by making an appointment at the local service provider first. That's all for how to fix an iPhone 7 that won't restart. If you find this video helpful, please buy a super thanks for this video and give this video a like. Your support means a lot to us to deliver more useful videos to help those in need. 
Also, if you have any further questions, feel free to write them down in the comments below and I'll reply ASAP. To learn more tech tips about iPhones, subscribe to the Byte Further channel. Now, you can click another video on the screen to keep watching.